All right, Mr. M, here you guys, Mr. Medellin, and today we're going to be doing femur. So femur is kind of an interesting exam because there's two APs and there's two laterals. And what that means is you have to do a proximal AP and a distal AP. Um, you have to do a proximal lateral and a distal lateral. So there's a total of four projections on the average adult uh, femur. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. We have our patient. She's lying down here on the back supine. All right. And what you want to do is you want to have your receptor lengthwise like we have here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the top of the IR at her ASIS. So her ASIS is right here. Okay. So there's her ASIS. Her crest is up here. Her ASIS is right here. It's going to be the most prominent portion. We're going to come down here, center that. All right. And then we're going to collimate just to maybe the width of her thigh here, just like that. I'll get this marker close by here. So we're starting off with the proximal first. All right, and her leg is already straight. So imagine if her foot was down like this, it's going to rotate it. So we have to turn the leg straight. If the patient can, of course, if it's trauma, you're not going to do this. If they're having a hard time, you could put a sandbag against her foot here to kind of help hold it as well. All right, and this is one, you guys, where I kind of, I put the marker on top of the table, right? Normally I put it on the tray, but I want to make sure that I put my marker here because when, I'm, when I do my distal, I know that I'm going to go ahead and incorporate that anatomy. I'm not cutting off anything. But this is it here. So your technique uh, for the proximal femur, um, it's about 16 to 20 mass at about 70 to 74 kV. She's on the petite side, so she'd get about 16 mass at about 70 kV. The distal portion, she's going to get about 12.5 mass at about 72, 74 kV. Okay, about 70 kV for her. All right, so this is your proximal AP. All right. Now, what you're going to do is for the distal, you're going to come up here, all right, and you're going to go two inches below the knee, all right. So now here, if if I put my fingers underneath here, you guys, her knee joint is right here. So right on the tibial tuberosity, all right, that's where you want to go ahead and have your receptor, all right. Now I know the book says the book says to put it two inches below the knee joint. But I kind of use that tibial tuberosity as my guide because I know that's going to be at least two inches below the knee joint. Again, her knee joint is here. It's about three of my fingers right here. And this is going to be your distal AP. All right, so pretty simple, right? So now for the lateral, we're going to go ahead and have you turn over on your right side towards me, please. All right, keep going. And you're going to bend this knee here. There we go. Keep going all the way on your side. Keep going. All right, right there. Okay, right there. Okay, now <clears throat> we can use a shield on her, so I'm going to grab a shield. Let's come around here. And I should have used the shield here for the distal one that we just did. All right, so we're going to put that on her. Now, we're going to go ahead and come here. So we're doing the distal femur, correct? So I'm going to go ahead. All right. We're going to just push you back a little bit right there. There we go. Now, I want to show you something here. We're going to be two inches below her knee joint. So again, her tibial tuberosity is here. So that's where I want to make sure that the bottom of my receptor is at. All right. Now watch this. We're going to turn the collimator. Okay. So I want this line going down the mid portion of her femur. I'm going to put my marker right here. All right. So right there there we go so this is going to be your distal femur all right now for the proximal we're going to go ahead and get closer to that that hip joint again i'm going to bring this up a little bit i'm going to get rid of the shield now because now we're going into the proximal region So the top of the receptor has to be at the level of her ASIS, which is right there. Now, if, to, if I want to make sure where I'm at, here we go, just like this. So now I have the top of the IR at the level of her ASIS. I close that up. All right, I turn this. And this here is your proximal femur. All right, so... We just started off with the AP proximal. We transitioned to the uh, AP distal, and then we did the lateral distal, and now we're finishing off here 
with the proximal uh, femur. All right, so again, here you guys go down here to 17 inches in length, and there we have it. There's our lateral proximal femur. So you're kind of focusing a little bit more on the hip joint here. All right, and there you have it. Those are your four projections for the femur. If you have any questions, please let me know, okay? All right, take care, you guys. Hello, everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm hoping that they're helping you out. Please make sure that you subscribe and then you hit the notification bell to be notified about new videos. Again, remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. Thank you.